Have you ever wanted to know when the price of a certain asset will fall, or have you ever wanted to know when the price of an asset will rise? Well, with this strategy is able to make entries where a new trend formation is possible. So for today's strategy, we will be going over another amazing strategy, using the momentum-based indicator to identify potential trend reversal. Now, I'm not saying this is the best trend reversal method, but I would really let you know that this method is absolutely one of the best free method to identify a new trend. Please note that this method work on a lower time frame, as we identify a reversal when there are fast change in price. Now support the channel by smashing the like button and subscribing to the channel, as it is totally free of charge. Without further ado, let's dive into it. Okay guys, for today's strategy, we are looking at the British Pound's United States Dollar. And we are on the one minute time frame, as this strategy works best on low time frames. This strategy is really going to make you millions, as we would be showing the super effective exit strategy as well, to help you maximize your potential wins using just this strategy. Now let's quickly add the indicators to our chart, as you would better understand the concept when we have them on the chart. Go ahead and bring up the indicator panel. I want you to search for the ADX and DI by by Kabu Yaji. This is absolutely one of my best momentum identifying indicator, as it has two scripts to identify what's going on in the market. But for this video, we would be using just one part of the script to maximize our profit in the market. Now for the second indicator, I want you to search for the STD filtered in pull Gaussian filter indicator by LOX. Now please note that this indicator are of two types and from the same author. So make sure you are using the one being shown on the screen as the purpose of this indicator is to filter out noise in the market and give us good entry points for our strategy. Okay guys, let's now quickly adjust this indicators to better explain how it works in the market. Now double click on the STD indicator by LOX. On the style, I want you to change the long to green and go ahead to change the short to red. Click on the OK button when you are done. This indicator will help us identify the possible reversal entries in the market as when we see the green bars, we are currently experiencing more buyers in the market than sellers. And when we see the red candlestick, it means more sellers taking position in the current market situation. And now for our ADX indicator, go ahead and double click on the indicator. On the input, change the threshold to 40. Now move over to the style, I want you to untick the DI plus and DI minus, and for the ADX, change it to white. I want you to also change the level to a straight line, as well as changing the color to white. Now go ahead and click in the OK button to fully apply the strategy on the chart. Now, our indicators are set, let's now quickly go over the valid rules for entry using this strategy, as we would be back testing our strategy at the end of this video, to enable us rank it on the spreadsheet. So make sure to check out the spreadsheet, to see best performing strategies on this channel. For a valid buy signal, we need to see the ADX cross above the 40 band line, while we are in a bearish trend, before we wait for our next bullish signal from the STD, as we would open a buy order at the peak of the trigger candlestick. And we can see we had our entry at this point. As when we had the ADX close above the 40 band line, we had to wait till we got a green moving average before we entered a buy order at the peak of this long signal label. Please note that when we see the L signal, price must be above the moving average and the candlestick must be colored in green before we place a buy order. Our stop loss is on the moving average from the point we got our entry and take profit is at 1.4 times the risk. Now why we do not take enough for our ratio is because we take trades at the peak of an existing trend as we would encounter some minor retracement and which we would want to profit from as well. And we could see we got our profit hit. Now please note that 
For beginners who want to achieve more trade wins using this strategy, could apply the risk management strategy to enable them increase their win rate when trading life. So make sure you check out the link to the video on the description below to enable you maximize your profit. Exactly the opposite is true for short trade. For a valid sell signal, we need to see the ADX cross above the 40 band line while we are in a bullish trend. Before we wait for our next bearish signal from the STD, as we would open a sell order at the bottom of the trigger candlestick. And we can see we had our entry at this point, as when we had the ADX close above the 40 band line, we had to wait till we got a red moving average. Before we enter the sell order at the bottom of this short signal label. Please note that when we see the S signal, price must be below the moving average and the candlestick must be colored in red before we place the sell order. Our stop loss is on the moving average from the point we got our entry and take profit is at 1.4 times the risk. And also, as we said earlier, why we do not take enough for our ratio is because we take trades at the peak of an existing trend as we would encounter some minor retracement in which we would want to profit from as well. And we could see we got our profit hit. Please do not forget that for traders who want to achieve more trade wins using this strategy could apply the risk management strategy to enable them increase their win rate when trading life. So make sure you check out the link to the video on the description below to enable you maximize your profit. Now, let's quickly go over some trade examples before we back test our strategy. So here is a buy trade we would have taken. Now we see we had the ADX above the 40 band line at this point and we could see we were already in a short trend. So we had to wait for the end of the trend before we open to buy entry at the beginning of this new green label. As our take profit and stop loss still remains the same, and we see it was a good trade. Here's another trade we would have taken. So we see we got our ADX cross above the 40 band line. Then we waited till we got the new trend entry on this point, as we would be taking a sell stop order at this candlestick. And we could see it was successful too. Okay guys, let's now quickly back test our strategy as we would be using $1,000 account size for the back test. And we would be going over 200 back tested trades as we risk 1% of our account size on each trade. Let's dive into it. Okay guys, so we just finished the back testing for this strategy, and we can see the results are amazing. We see we had a win rate of 66%, having won 132 trades and lost 68 trades, which made us 116% return on investment, and I found those trade setups within 4 weeks. Although commissions and spread fees would eat up some of the profit in real trading, because it was not included in the back test. So you definitely want to expect that number to be lower when trading life. The profit factor for this strategy is looking really good as we had five wins in a row against three losses in a row. During the back test, we hardly experienced drawdowns. So you can comfortably trade this strategy with 2% of your account size to maximize your profit. Okay, now let's compare the strategy to some other strategies I've already tested on this channel. In terms of win rates, this strategy is not the most accurate one, this is pretty obvious. 
116% return on investment is quite impressive though for a short time strategy on the one minute time frame. Like I said in the video, we maintain 1.4 times the risk because we don't want to be exposed in the market. If we take a look at the win rate, which is probably one of the most important metrics, we can see that the strategy is actually looking fair. So traders, definitely give this strategy a try and make sure you do the proper back testing and forward testing before trading live. By the way, if you have any suggestions on how to improve the strategy, please let us know in the comments. Also, feel free to check out my other videos on our channel. I have playlists with different strategies and indicators that will definitely make you a profitable trader. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.